Mount Mulanji, Malawi, another fascinating piece from this fascinating deposit. Uh, a quartz, the, the matrix itself uh, is a quartz crystal, and sitting on top of that is an agerine crystal. So when I go around, the agerine crystal is terminated. It's got a very mild coating of girthite on it. Now, the, the girthite can be removed, and uh, usually what I use to remove it attacks the feldspar. So uh, this has only been handled with so soap and water, and of course the whole cleaning process I do hasn't touched any any acids of any sort um, what's one of the look at that now when we look into the quartz this is always a thing with the dark minerals it's difficult to to actually see what's happening inside but one of the the fascinators of the the material from Malawi is what lies within often a a whole lot of conf, uh, uh, inclusions I think here we may have some epididymite uh, needles going inside it. I think on this side, there we go, there is something very interesting happening on that side of the specimen. Uh, of course, very bright, lustrous pieces. Um, let's go look in there. And of course, the agerine at the back, a little bit, little bit brown, with a, well, it's got a slight coating of the... Uh, girthite formerly known as limonite or, or, or even go as far as to say maybe a little bit of iron oxides going across there so from a display point of view can be displayed on the turntable going all the way around like this all the way around like that very intricate intricate uh, 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 crystallization um, that's one of the telltale things of the quartzes from the Malawi. And of course with this one we have some agerinas associated too.